Gymnocalicium is a rather popular and well-known cactus genus. They are easy to grow and flower, and there are a huge number of hybrids and varieties in the market. In this video, I am going to show a manual pollination technique so you can get fruits and seeds for Gymnocalicium breeding and propagation. The flowers of Gymnocalicium are what we call perfect flowers, meaning an individual flower has both male and female parts. Pollination occurs when pollen from the male part fertilizes an ovule in the female part. Pollen, coming from the anther, needs to make its way to the stigma. In nature, wind, rain, or insects in other animals cause this pollen transfer. For cactus plants, we will need to manually pollinate them to get fruits with seed. While the concept of pollination is quite simple, in that we need to deposit the pollen from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower, this can be sometimes difficult. Gymnocalicium can sometimes have flowers that do not open fully. This means that we will have difficulty accessing both the anthers and the stigma. This technique is a good way to take care of this problem. First, cut off the top portion of the flower to expose and gain access to the stigma without damaging it. An easy way to do this is to make a cut that slices the outside wall of the outer part of the flower called the perianth which sits just right above the lower, narrow, long portion of the flower called the flower tube. Take care not to cut all the way through as this will completely sever the stigma as well and that will render the flower useless. You can cut all the way around carefully or cut through approximately just half of the perianth and then just tear the entire upper part of it easily afterwards. Controlled manual pollination is essential if any breeding work or propagation is to be done. Generally, Gymnocalicium had what we call self-sterile flowers. This means that a flower from one plant needs pollen from the flower of another plant to get viable seeds. As you can see in the video, I have three plants with six open flowers that I cut open to pollinate. The aim is to transfer pollen from the flowers of one plant to the flowers of another plant to complete the pollination. If it's just two flowers from one plant, pollination will not be successful as you're just trying to pollinate the plant with its own pollen. To transfer the pollen, use a brush to remove some of the powdery pollen from the perianth section we removed earlier and deposit them in the stigma of another flower. Tweezers can also be used. Alternatively, the perianth section that was removed earlier can be split open and the anthers be gently rubbed on the stigma directly. This is a fast and very easy way to transfer pollen directly to the stigma. A note about breeding. If a pure species is desired, you will need to cross two different plants of the same species or variety. Crossing two different varieties will result to hybrids. Some plants require even more strict pollination, such as the ones I'm working with. These are Gymnocalicium friedrichii with a locality code LB2178. That means if I want to keep the code on their IDs, I need to use another LB2178 plant to pollinate them with. Anyway, if all goes well, the rest of the flower the floral tube, also called the hepanthium, will remain attached to the plant. This will then swell and develop into a fruit. Unfertilized flowers normally detach and drop within a few days after the flower closes. With successful pollination, the fruit will develop for a few weeks until it ripens and by which point it can be harvested and the seeds extracted. Congratulations, you now have gymnocalicium seeds ready to be sown and grown.